We will find you. We will eliminate you. Iran's major general is dead after President Trump ordered an airstrike to assassinate him in Baghdad, Iraq. Now, the supreme leader of Iran has vowed a harsh revenge for his killing. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Qasem Soleimani was considered by many the second most powerful Iranian official. Today, we talk with experts in central Illinois about what this means for us here and for the future. WC93's Courtney Bunting is with us now. So, Courtney, start with why did the president do this? Well, Jennifer, he says it was to stop a war, but some feel the long-term consequences it could have were not worth it, while others I talked to say it needed to happen a long time ago. This is the highest level attack the United States has done directly on Iran, perhaps ever. There's no question the killing of Iran's general Qasem Soleimani will go down in history. If Americans anywhere are threatened, we have all of those targets already fully identified, and I am ready and prepared to take whatever action is necessary. I asked U of I international relations professor Nicholas Grossman what this means for the future. He knows the impact could be serious, but he says many are overreacting by saying this could mean World War III. Iran will take it as a large escalation, but they don't want a full war with the United States, and the United States doesn't really want a full war with Iran either. However, he says it's possible they could retaliate by disrupting the world's oil supply. A lot of the world's oil flows through the Strait of Hormuz, which is at the bottom of the Gulf. And if Iran were to fire some missiles at it, then no oil tankers would be willing to take the risk to sail through. And that could cause oil prices to spike around the world. It would make gasoline very expensive. U.S. Representative Rodney Davis believes Trump's decision is what had to happen in response to Iran helping with an attack on a U.S. embassy. We've watched administration after administration, both Republicans and Democrats, appease countries like Iran, and they continue to kill our soldiers. U.S. Senator Tammy Duckworth says this should never have been done without congressional approval. She says, quote, there is no question that Iranian Major General Soleimani posed a threat to the free world, but there is also no question that the president, any president, does not have the constitutional authority to draw the United States into a war without prior congressional approval. I talked with Paul Lewis today. The Central Illinois native was held captive in Iran for 444 days back in the late 1970s and early 1980s. He believes killing Soleimani should have been done years ago. He says, quote, we've treated this like shoplifting and terrorists are something that have to be exterminated. And he also said, I don't think we should take any joy in this. I'm not glad. It's just an action that needed to take place. Jennifer. Interesting perspective. Thank you so much.